As she fought her way through a scrum of journalists, it was clear Marina Silva is now the hottest political commodity in Brazil. She officially accepted the Socialist Party nomination on Wednesday night, replacing Eduardo Campos, who died in a plane accident last week. We want a Brazil that is prosperous in its economy. We want a Brazil that is politically democratic and a Brazil that is socially fair. She comes from a poor, working-class background in the Amazon region, was once a maid, and was illiterate until she taught herself to read at 17. She later went into politics, rising to environment minister, and she ran for president in 2010 and garnered nearly 20 million votes. She's now appealing to voters looking for a change, a message resonating with many. Marina Silva defends Brazil really well. She will represent us in a better way. Perhaps one of the great ironies of this campaign so far is that despite all the promise and popularity that Eduardo Campos had, his untimely passing has now thrust Marina Silva into the forefront, garnered the attention of more of the voters, and actually made this presidential campaign even more competitive. She motivated and stimulated the undecided to become decided. That was another important change. And a lot of those undecideds are people who, who came out of the, the protest movement in 2013 who had decided I'm not going to vote for anybody. But with, with Marina Silva now in, in the running, uh, they've now decided that, yes, we're going to vote for her. But Silva has many challenges ahead. She has little experience with economic issues and is deeply distrusted by Brazil's powerful agriculture business interests. But with only six weeks till the election, she's hoping she can take her newfound popularity all the way to the presidency. Gabriel Lozando, Al Jazeera, Brazilian.